Oh. Hi, uh, no need to tell our names, but uh, from SK Facts side, we are going to start a new batch for only service portal, and uh, it is it will be done by an external uh, facilitator. We have uh, close to 12 years of IT experience. Now we will show what is the content and what is the training program details and all. So, <coughs> Mr. Manju, can you please uh, open the syllabus? Yeah. So here is the syllabus. So we are planning to cover it. Maybe uh, this is the first batch for only service portal. Okay. And uh, it may take 10 classes. We are estimating 10 classes, but it may exceed to 12 or 15 also. But we will we will see. So <coughs> what is the service portal? Everyone knows because this is not for a, uh, entry level, but this is for people who already knew service node development and wants to upgrade their skills. So here uh, they should know the interface. They should have basic idea about these prereqs. Because service portal is advanced concept and it, it needs to be having the client script and server side script basics and a little bit of uh, CSS and HTML also. If you have Angular JS also, it will be added advantage. But <coughs> these are not compulsory. Uh, you should know in minimum level. And if you know it already, then it, you can easily understand because this particular platform will only supports by these concepts and if it supports it runs on the bootstrap technology so if you know it you will understand easily if not it will take little time so that's why we added here as a prerix and now uh, advanced implementations so manju what is this can you please explain yes uh, this advanced advanced uh, implementation involves uh, like uh, you enhance your uh, portal interface with a customer with the new features uh, in the bootstrap you have uh, many other uh, um, inbuilt functionalities where you can inherit those things to build that uh, in your uh, existing uh, portal page yeah so the uibs angular uibs and uh, uh, those things you you have many other interfaces where uh, you can make use of this uh, functionalities say for example uh, whenever you click on something you want to show a pop-up uh, where you want to uh, show the screens in a delayed manner okay. so then we make use of this uh, angular uib where you can you can define your own uh, uh own pages, functionalities in that functionalities pages okay but uh, are we these so, these will be covered as part of our training are they are like we are just adding uh, some basics uh, yep. like it's on uh, basics things like what we, what actually service now is using in this uh, angular uib those things i'll i'll explain but uh, okay. apart from this there are many other things uh, which you can make use in your uh, uh, new uh, like uh, custom portals okay so for building your own uh, interfaces yeah, we will be just introducing and be giving the basic idea if they want to like deeply they can go and learn it right yeah. yes so now please come down can you please show the syllabus yeah so here uh, from point number one to point number four, this is the core syllabus we listed out. So for any service portal customization, it's not like uh, implementing from scratch. So page is a page where we have we already have it in our instance. So we will be normally in live live environments also. We will be customizing customizing it as per our uh, client uh, requirements. So we have a base image. Maybe if you just go to portal page, uh, Manju, please. So this is how the out of the box page will come so our customers will come up, come up and ask like okay uh, on header we have those buttons so we want different buttons we, we want to change the logo okay we want to show the down options in a different manner not this manner okay we want to change this uh, such logo such options so this is all uh, comes under customization of a portal page so this would be our main work so when we get a work something like this so where exactly it will be uh, available and how to find it and where to change it what to change it <clears throat> these and all we will be uh, having as part of our training so it, it have different different uh, topics based on the different different uh, option here so if we go to our training program the first one is okay portal introduction and overview this everyone knows it what is portal okay but we will also introduce introduce so that if anyone doesn't know anything about portal maybe it will helps and second thing is portal configurations <coughs> so these configurations are very basic and very core for <coughs> any portal page okay if we see the first one portal menus the portal menus is the one which we see on the top knowledge catalog request system page and let's say what what kind of work we get here is let's say i click on request so the expectation is 
when the user clicks on request here it is taking him his request right so how exactly the navigation is working so tomorrow uh, customer will come up and say i want to see my changes here can we able to do if yes how to configure where to configure so these things and all will be covered little bit here so this is one thing now if we go to the po uh, portion themes themes maybe uh, manju can you please explain what is theme uh themes are uh, say for example uh, your organization will have a certain kind of uh, color codes uh -huh. and uh, you want to define it uh, in the initial phase of building your portal page okay. and you want to uh, make use of those uh, uh, themes uh, <clears throat> in uh, all the pages say for example when you click on this uh, request something it goes to a different page and you can see this uh, the color doesn't change you need not to build that uh, on each and every pages the color code or uh, uh, i mean uh, the um, uh, the font size or uh, the image size this things you need not to define right <clears throat> that you define it in the themes itself and those will be inherited to all the pages on the portal level so you can have a different portal with the different themes okay. so say for one portal you can have a different color and another portal you can have different uh, color so you can have your own custom uh, themes defined right so theme is like more cosmetic and we can configure that and uh, third one is search configuration yeah we already introduced it it's like we have a global search here where we can search something and uh, this search also we can customize based on our requirement so if we see search here new hire so it is getting the things from catalog items and uh, knowledge base and all so i want to restrict only catalog items i want to maybe see something else maybe the, what kind of other things we can do manju here please so we can have uh, your own insurance uh, you want to search your own insurance numbers yeah now you want to search your uh, request so we can uh, include that but uh, it depends on your customization how actually you want to do yeah. it so such limitation such enhancement kind of configurations we can do here so it could be a very good topic so now next one is knowledge knowledge management so in portal we can see knowledge base and catalogs so when we search it it also brings me knowledge base and also here we have down knowledge base right all the knowledge can be seen here also we can restrict and we can apply some filters to show a specific list of knowledge maybe their page and all manju is that correct or we have anything to discuss in knowledge option so knowledge base say for example uh, <clears throat> you have an hr portal yeah so you want to show a sing you want to build a single portal and where you want to uh, have the different knowledge base based on the user uh, uh, requirement uh, user access say for example i5 belongs to hr base hmm. then i want to see only the article related to the knowledge yes uh, hr related uh, knowledge base knowledge articles and if i belongs to some other uh, you have own your custom application and you want to show related to if i am a part of those uh, group or uh, roles and you want to make use of such things where you want to show only those article related to those uh, knowledge base right so, so that customization you can do it right? maybe kind of filtering uh, filtering our main knowledge table like how we want to design and show right kind of mm -hmm. same like service catalogs also right right request something right so if we say request something it is taking us to service catalog table and show based on the category we can also limit it we can design our other categories okay the the look and feel of this page those things and all can be customized right yes yeah so this is the first part of the uh, program this is i think core program core core part of our service now and it is also basic portal concepts and if we go second one maybe third point page configuration so we have something called page designer and container row and column and widget okay no yeah so what are they can you please explain in a brief manner so say for example whatever you see in the page uh, this page contains certain um, rows and columns say for example this is one row this is another row and each row is divided into multiple columns right. so how do you design your page so that we make use of a page designer say for example you can go to the page designer you can uh, okay. you can define your own pages right how and uh, how you want to or... yeah you know, how many uh, uh how many columns or how many um, uh, the content you want to show it mm -hmm. so that defines uh, your uh, uh, your page so you are going to design it using this page design it's like a form design form layout but portal right. related where how you want to layout your pages right right kind of yeah 
and the next point uh, container the same only instance instance search i think this is also kind of so same. these are all uh, the, the the widgets contain uh, widgets are array to an instance right so the instance are a different type uh -huh. so widgets can widgets instance can be a table instance uh, can be a link can be a search can be a menu anything it can be anything so the the service now has built a concept where uh, based on your uh, uh, type of instance uh, that uh, the data is going to pull from your configuration say for example if i'm uh, going to show this as a um, this this uh, catalog item so i can uh, i can load uh, this in a form level as well mm -hmm. so that depends uh, like uh, how actually you want to load it right. so for example if i open a request the incident so this is actually an incident record which uh, they have designed this way mm -hmm. but if you want to open it in a classic form so how you see it in the normal uh, UI 16 mode kind of right UI 16 so you can see you can uh, there, also, huh? this are the other way as well so this particular uh, uh, instances uh, like instance with table so the table actually uh, pulls the information from the particular table what we uh, define it say so in this case it is an incident it pulls all the information related to the table and it shows showcase here right so that, that, that is a different uh, attributes where you make use of it, it and uh, yeah so this this uh, fourth point maybe in our syllabus is covers that part right mm -hmm. no 3.3 3, 3c right yes, and yes. Uh, fourth fourth one widgets and templates i think widgets is our core concept of portal right Main right so for example uh, this data so how this data are pulling so these are all defined in the widget level yeah. so uh, in the page designer, we only define how the layout of the page should be. Hmm. Uh, the top row should be on a full uh, screen size, hmm. and uh, the next row, and it should be a width of this much. So those we design at the page. Uh, basically, page designer is used for layouts. So inside that uh, row or a column, what data you want to show it, right. what actually data you want to uh, showcase, those are defined in the widget level. Right. So the widgets are uh, having a different concepts here. So one of the so if you have a basic knowledge uh, on uh, um, CSS, server HTML, side on uh, client side scripting, then you can make use of this um, widgets, widgets <clears throat> where you build your uh, own custom logic yeah. to pull the data and how I want to showcase that in uh, uh, the front end that you define it in the uh, HTML part. Right, right. So here uh, it supports CSS, HTML, client and server side scripts. I think that's what we mentioned in the prerix part, right? Right. Okay. And template, what is template? Uh, template, templates are, uh, say, those are all uh, different uh, uh, concepts that is available in the widgets level. Uh, like, say, for example, you have Angular services, Angular directive, oh. Angular templates. Okay. So th those are all a part of an Angular JS. Yeah. So those things, we how we are going to make use it in the widget level. Yeah. So, for example, if uh, if you take this widget, yeah. uh, my request, uh, here you have Angular provider, Angular template. Okay. So, so what are the dependencies are there? So, how you make use of this templates or uh, Angular provider in the widget level? Yeah. So, how you are making use of it? Those functionalities we are going to uh, explain it in this. Uh, okay. Yeah, templates think, and uh, uh, dependencies. And uh, last one, like dependencies, what is that? So the, it's uh, it's also similar, similar to your uh, all other uh, options. What are the things right. needs to be discussed? So like yeah. uh, dependencies are something where you want to load your uh, custom uh, script or a script whichever you want to load it on the page level. Yeah. Uh, or it in the uh, load of the form, a load of uh, a portal. Yeah. So those script will be uh, added in the dependencies. Right. Right. So those functionalities you can uh, make use of uh, uh, any any client side scripting. Right. Got so it. some functionalities, say for example, you have built some functionalities where when you click on it, you want to show some pop up. So those functionalities, uh, the pop up, uh, you can pass a function. Hmm. Uh, that functionalities you define it in the dependencies, and you can call that uh, functions or uh, uh, methods or anywhere hmm. uh, in the client side scripting. Understood. So. 
so that depends on like how you want to build your own so there is a dependency concept where we will be make is making use of them based on our requirements and how to call them from our scripts and all this is the concept right 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 okay please go to the syllabus so i think this is all this is all about our main concepts and uh, lab exercises so uh what about this one how we are going to so uh, we uh, on each uh topic we discussed uh, each topic we discussed uh, so we are make use of uh in the meanwhile we'll create a custom portal page okay. and uh, once it is our uh, each topic is covered we are simultaneously working on that part so, so as part that of is our training part. we will be building our custom page and also we will give we will be giving some sample practice to them also so that they also can practice it daily right yes yeah and uh, yeah so five main concepts and sub concepts so how many hours it will take like uh, per day one hour how many hours of training we need it 10 minimum so minimum 10 to 12 hours is uh required to explain all this okay so we can say 10 to 15 mm -hmm. okay fine and uh, so uh, okay other question is something like uh, um, we discussed about prereqs we discussed about syllabus and this we discussed and interview questions maybe how we can uh, have the questions like expected uh, interview questions from these concepts are we going to give uh, this list also maybe kind of yeah we, we can we can forward that only kind of questions okay fine I and this questions <laughs> can uh, vary from person to person ah, real time so... questions are different but uh, the questions which we give is like kind of basic expected questions so yeah. unless uh, anyone knows the concept how the portal works uh, they cannot answer any uh, interview questions because uh, these are all like uh, uh, no one will ask you like what is business rule or what is client script hmm. so they are uh, going to ask you like real time uh, scenarios huh. uh, so how you are going to make use of this widgets if yeah. i want to have a table uh, called in the widget so how you going to define it and those things uh, depends uh, like on the person who is taking an interview so let's say i know little and i know good in service now all the concepts i am very I, I don't know anything about portal so if i join this class and uh, maybe daily attend one hour and practice maybe for one more hour and then learn the things clearly okay then i'm able to do right and i am able to okay. answer anything yes one hour of practice two hours of practice depends on my capability i need to do without that waste right Attending right. and spending money is waste. Okay, good, clear. So I will think about it <laughs> whether I need to join or not. <laughs> okay, but uh, anything else maybe you want to cover, please? Uh, nothing. Okay, okay then. Okay, so.